don't say anything too startling. Hello, Rachel. Oh, Mrs. Lynn, never can I express all my sorrow, even if I used a whole dictionary. I've disgraced the dear friends who won me stand for Yales, even though I'm not a boy. And I deserve to be cast out by respectable people forever and ever and ever. She's certainly enjoying herself. Well, well maybe what I said was harsh. Every word of it was true. My hair is red and I'm freckled and ugly. But what I said was true also. Oh. Although I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive me, or you will inflict lifelong grief on a poor orphan girl. There, there, get up, child. Of course I forgive you. I'm such an outspoken person. You must not mind me, Anne, spelled with an E. Anne, I once knew a girl with hair as red as yours, and when she grew up, it darkened to a handsome auburn. Oh, Mrs. Lynn, you have given me a ray of hope. Marilla, she may turn out all right, providing you keep her a while. Mrs. Lynn, do you suppose I'll find a bosom friend in Avonlea? A bosom what? A bosom friend, you know, a kindred spirit, like Matthew. They're both peculiar, if that's what she means. <laughs> someone my own age, someone I could confide in with all my soul. Well, there's Diana Barry, though her mother is awful particular. I told Mrs. Barry I'd send you after an apron pattern, so you'll be meeting Diana after all. Oh, Marilla, how splendid! Just don't let her hear anything about your imaginary friend. She might think you're soft in the head. About time that child had a white playmate. Hope Diane is pretty, with lovely dark hair. Not red-haired and homely. Such an elegant name, Diana. But I'm trembling with fear. What if Diana doesn't like me? That would be the most tragical disappointment of my life. <laughs> don't you go a lot of work. I heard you like books. This was thrilling. The heron has five lovers. I'd be thankful for just one lover, wouldn't you? The heron has terrible troubles and faints all the time. Oh, I'd be faint. Don't you, Diana? So romantic. Mother says I keep my nose buried in books. She thinks I get some fresh air, if I had a pound. We could walk in the woods, collect shells on the seashore. Diana, could you possibly like me enough to be my bosom friend? I'm glad you've come to Green Gables, Anne. There's no girls close by, except my sister Minnie Mae, and she's just a baby. Swear you will be my friend forever and ever. <laughs> is it swearing dreadfully wicked, Miss Lynn says? Swearing is the first step to the devil's front door. Yeah. Just means promising to solve the problem. Well, I can do that. First, we join hands over running water. Pretend this path is running water. <laughs> and then I say, I, and Shirley, solemnly swear to be faithful to my bosom friend, Diana Berry, as long as the son of man and jerk. Now you. I, Diana Berry, solemnly swear to be faithful to my bosom friend, Anne Shirley. Spell with me. As long as the son of moon and jerk. <laughs> You're an odd girl, Anne, but I think I like you. <coughs> Marilla said not to talk to death. I'm still breathing. Thank you. Diana! Oh, the sun is...